Hello YouTube, welcome to this brand new tutorial and um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cool spanner in Visual Basic 2008. Now this default wallpaper that you're looking at is of course support wallpaper so if you want to support me go ahead you can download it from my site. Ok so let's get started. Now I am new to Visual Basic and I've just learned how to make a cool spanner and if you want um, I'm going to teach you how to make one. So, file, new project, right, Windows form application, name it whatever you want, you can name it exit, spanner, v1, okay, okay, wait for it to load, Okay, now I'm just going to make it a bit big. Okay, so now I'm trying to go down and find picture box. And then just make a box for the picture. Now if you, you want to make um, a background for this, uh, the dimensions that I use for my pick is 819 by 611. So yeah I'm just going to import two of my picks oh. Oops. okay so yeah and then just experiment with it put in any position that you want whatever you like it just like okay now go and try uh, down at the toolbox find the rich text box yeah make a box mm, big enough well as big as you want okay and then make uh, two buttons so find the button, make two buttons, same size, so yeah. Okay, now we're going to rename them. So over here in the properties where it says text, rename it. So button one is going to be start, spammer. And button two is going to be start. Okay, now I'm just going to add uh, another picture so to prove that. So, yeah, add another picture, choose an edge, logo. This is a logo that I made before I made this video. So, yeah. Hope you think it's cool and that you like it. And if you want me to make anything for you, I will. Just tell me, but if it's anything stupid, I will not. Okay. So now that we've got them done, you're going to click on Start Spanner. Right. And type this code in Timer1. Dot ena enabled equals true. Then click on Stop Spanner. And then type in the same timer one dot enabled enabled equals false. Okay. Now go back to the form, find the timer, and put it in the middle of the box. So to fix all the errors, then double click on the timer and type in this. This is a really long one, so make sure that you get this. Send keys dot send bracket rich text 
I mean, oops, rich text box here, one dot text bracket, and then click enter, and then send keys bracket speech marks, and then this bracket there, and then type in enter, and then do it in reverse. There you go. So yeah. That should uh, make all the spam. So now, click on the timer, and if you want to make it um, fast, just change the interval to one or two. The best number is between one and ten. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with one. Okay, now you got that. So that's your spam. Yeah. And if you want to test it, just click on the deep start debug here, F5 or debug and start debugging. So, yeah, let's test it. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to put dot send. Yeah. So, that's the code that you need to put. So, yeah, sorry for that. Okay. And uh, open notepad. Okay, so so whatever you want. And then click start spam and then just click on the notepad and then there you go. Spam is ready. Okay, to stop it just click start and close it. So yeah. If you want to change the name at the top here, just click on that on the bar, go to text and just change it. I'm just going to call it. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Thanks for watching YouTube. If you love more tutorials, please stay for more. And yeah, subscribe to keep the show alive. Thanks for watching.